Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given fabulous equation x minus 5 power 4 plus x minus 6 power 3 plus x minus 7 square equals to 2. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and let's look at this equation. And here I have copied it down. Let me go ahead and manipulate it a little bit. Let's go ahead and write it down. First of all, x minus 5 power 4. I'm going to just leave it like this one. And plus this x minus 6 will be written as x minus 5. And then minus 1 power 3. Plus this could be written as x minus 5. And then minus 2 power 2 equals to 2. Now let's look at the pattern over here. x minus 5, x minus 5, and x minus 5. So therefore, let me go ahead and say let u equals to x minus 5. We are going to do the substitution. So therefore, after substitution, our equation, this equation is going to become u power 4 plus u minus 1 power 3 plus u minus 2 square equals to 2. And now let's go ahead and take care of this one. So u power 4 plus, let's look at this part, this binomial. We are going to expand it by using this a minus b power 3 formula. So this could be written as u power 3 minus 3u square plus 3u and then minus 1. And now let's look at this part. We are going to expand this binomial by using a minus b formula. So this could be written as plus u square minus 4u plus 4 equals to 2. And now let's go ahead and move this 2 on the other side. And now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So this we got u power 4 plus u power 3 minus 2u square and then minus u plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's focus on this part minus 2u square. I can separate, I can split them to minus u square and minus u square. And here I have split this negative 2u square as negative u square and minus u square. Let's focus on these first three terms over here and these next three terms over here and we can see that u square is in common among these three terms so i'm gonna take out i can factor out u square so we're gonna get u square plus u minus one and among these next three terms negative one is in common i'm gonna take that one outside so we got u square plus u minus 1 equals to 0. Let's go ahead and factor that one out. I can write u square minus 1 times u square plus u minus 1 equal to 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and split them up. I can write u square minus 1 equal to 0 and the other factor u square minus u rather plus u and then minus 1 equal to 0. And now let's focus on this u square minus 1 equal to 0. Let's move this negative 1 on the other side. So we got u square equals to positive 1. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both side. So this square and square root is gone. So u turns out to be equal to positive or negative one. So we got two values of u which is positive one and negative one. And now let's fo focus on this other factor u square plus u minus one and we can see that this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using a quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. 
And now let's go ahead and apply the quadratic formula. We can see that our A is 1, B is 1, and C is negative 1. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So u equals to negative 1 plus r minus the square root of 1 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 1, everything is divided by 2 times 1. So therefore our u value turns out to be negative 1 plus r minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So we got these two values over here as well. So thus we got four values of u over here positive and negative 1 and here negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And now we are going to pick u equals to one value and put it in u equals to x minus 5. And here's our equation u equals to x minus 5. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. u is 1 equal to x minus 5. Let's solve for x. So x is going to be simply 6 value. And this time we are going to pick uh, u equals to negative 1 value and plug it in. This u equals to x minus 5. So negative 1 we are going to replace u by negative 1 equals to x minus 5 let's solve for x so x value is going to be simply positive 4 and this time we are going to pick u equals to negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and plug it in this u equals to x minus 5 equation so i'm going to replace u by negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 equals to x minus 5. And here in this next step, I have split this one into negative 1 over 2 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and add 5 on both sides to solve for x. This negative 5 and positive 5 is gone. And here negative 1 over 2 plus 5 is going to give us uh, 9 over 2 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 equals to x. So therefore I can write x equal to, since 2 is the common factor, 9 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and this is our solution as well. And finally, we are going to pick u equals to negative 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and plug it in this equation. And in this next step, I have split the left hand side into two parts. And let's go ahead and add 5 on both sides to solve for x. This positive 5, negative 5 is gone. And this is going to give us 9 over 2 and then minus square root of 5 divided by 2 equals to x so thus our x value is going to be this time 9 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and this is our another solution and finally here are our four solutions to this given equation and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye